Hello, welcome back to Out Building. This is gonna be a quick how-to on just how to measure a driveway grade. And this might horrify a surveyor, but it, I need to get an approximation of the driveway grade all the way back to our property um, as we try to figure out fire safety and some other stuff. So I've got a few materials I'm gonna use here. I'm gonna use a, just a long tape measure and I'll measure out. I'm gonna do this at every 50 feet all the way through. Um, that'll take me a little while, but it's just that way I can build a graph of the overall grade. I've got a regular speed clamp. Um, I've got a couple pieces of scrap wood that I screwed together into a little post to make this easier for myself. And then I've got a really straight, I picked a straight 2x4 that's 12 feet long, 144 inches, and I taped up a nice quality level to it. So I'm going to build a little, I'm going to, I'm going to measure sort of the rise versus the run, and I'm going to enter that into my computer every 50 feet, measure my way up to the property, and kind of go over the hills, and then I can assess the grade, and I can build a graph of the grade that I can use when I'm talking to the fire department. So I'll get this set up and I'll show you how this works. Okay, so I'm picking a starting point. I've got a sort of the property line is where these two posts are and I'm gonna use that as my starting point. And there's probably an official way to do this and the way I'm doing it, and they may not be the same thing, but this just kind of made sense to me when I was thinking it through and will be pretty easy to get a reasonably accurate measurement. So because I kind of only have one set of hands to work with, I'm using this T post so that I can position the bubble, get it level. Then I'm gonna use my speed clamp to uh, anchor that. And I hope to get better at this as I go. There, now I've got it set up and it's level. So it's 144 inches from the center of the grade out to here. And I'm gonna take a tape measure, which I need to run and grab. And I'm gonna measure from here down to the, to the ground and I'll record that. A couple things to note, I'm, I'm lining this right up down the center of the driveway. As long as I pick something consistent and do it, it should work. And since I'm doing it every 50 feet, if I have a little bit of inaccuracy when I put that in and look at a graph, it's gonna be pretty accurate. And I'm just gonna measure now from, from here down and that's exactly 13 inches. So I'll record that at my first measurement. Then I'm gonna set out my tape measure and go up 50 feet and get the next measurement. I just keep repeating that. office set up here in the back of the Jeep and I can type in the measurements as I go. Right, I'm midway away to the top of the hill, and because I'm cresting a hill and coming back down, I had to flip the board the other way, but same measurement um, and moving my way on down. Okay, so here's all the information put into a spreadsheet. On the left, you can see here the there's the feet, and that's just every 50 feet as I kind of set up stations and measured. And then there's the rise, which is the measurement I was taking at each point. And then I did a grade percent measurement or calculation, so that's just the rise over the run. So here you've got the height, which is that, that rise over 144, which is the length of my board divided by 100 to give me percent. So these are my percentages as I go down these uh, up the road. And then I've got slope degrees here, 
and that is this formula. This is sort of something that would work in Excel or numbers on the Mac. Um, this is just degrees. It's the arctangent of the height over the, the rise over the run. So that gives you um, the degrees. That's like on my Jeep, that's what shows up when I use the inclinometer in there. And then grade percent is what like a, a surveyor or an architect would use to refer to a grade. And then I just put notes as I was as I was moving through the stations, I put notes so I could remember where those measurements were. So this is, then I can graph it and I can kind of see that it fits within whatever my tolerances are. I have different issues I have to deal with with the fire department based on what the grade is. And so this information is going to be helpful to use that. Anyway, that's how I put together the spreadsheet. To be notified about future how-tos, outbuilding projects, and project videos, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.